This electrical device, also known as an AB sensor or a wheel speed sensor, provides information about the rotational speed of a single vehicle wheel. These sensors should not be confused with a car's transmission speed sensor, which has a completely different function. Since wheel speed sensors are typically magnetic in nature, when a tone ring mounted on the hub rotates in front of their probes, they can produce audible pulses that can be measured. The detected speed of the wheel in question, as perceived by a vehicle's management software, directly depends on the speed at which these pulses are generated. The number of pulses generated in a given amount of time determines how quickly the wheel is actually rotating. There are two different wheel speed sensor configurations available. The first of these is a passive sensor, which is analog by design and doesn't function properly without a reference voltage. The second speed sensor configuration for the wheel has an active design. These sensors use an encoder-style tone ring and do require an input voltage to function. Due to its inherent reliability, the latter of these two sensors is typically used in modern vehicles. One wheel speed sensor's feedback is compared to all other wheel speed sensor feedback sent by the same vehicle by the management software. By using these techniques, this software can identify which wheel is spinning more quickly than the others on a vehicle, potentially signaling a slide or impending brake lockup. In this video, I will cover four of the most common symptoms of bad wheel speed sensors. We will also discuss the causes of the problem, diagnostic procedures, and replacement costs. Max the car guy, subscribe and let's get started. Illumination of abs light. The abs warning light will typically come on when a faulty wheel speed sensor is detected by a vehicle's control software. This is the outcome of a stored abs-related fault. Lack of active safety system functionality. Anti-lock brakes, stability control, and traction control all rely on data from the wheel speed sensors in a vehicle. In the vast majority of cases, whenever a wheel speed sensor malfunction is detected, these systems are locked out of operation. Increased stopping distances. After one or more wheel speed sensors fail, you might also notice that it takes longer to stop your car, especially in emergency or panic stops. This is largely because the automatic lockout mentioned above leads to the abs not functioning. Brake pedal pulsation. Rarely, a car's brake pedal may actively pulse, acting as though an abs modulated brake application were being made even when the car is just moving along the road. As previously mentioned, this is a relatively uncommon symptom that affects older vehicles more frequently than more recent models. Causes There are many potential causes for wheel speed sensor failure, some of which are more common than others. For instance, a debris strike caused by hitting any solid material deposited in the roadway can cause the sensor irreparable harm. Alternately, a buildup of metallic debris in or near a wheel speed sensor's magnetic element can obstruct the sensor's signal. A wheel speed sensor can also become unreliable if its wiring is harmed or if too much corrosion accumulates on its connector. Either of these circumstances may result in excessive resistance within the speed sensor circuit or, in the worst cases, in an open connection. How to diagnose The majority of the time, a scan tool is used to locate the specific wheel end location of the offending wheel speed sensor. From this point on, the affected sensor's feedback, or lack thereof, is analyzed using an oscilloscope or high-end digital multimeter. As an alternative, it's frequently possible to track real-time wheel speed sensor feedback using a comprehensive bidirectional scan tool. A mechanic is also likely to conduct a thorough visual inspection of a suspected wheel speed sensor and all associated wiring in addition to these diagnostic procedures. Sometimes, particularly after a debris strike, damage to the affected sensor is quite noticeable and simple to spot. They must also pay attention to the air gap that exists between a speed sensor and the corresponding tone ring. Replacement cost. Depending on the make and model of the car, the price to replace the wheel speed sensor can change. A speed sensor will frequently cost significantly more from one manufacturer than from another. Alternately, labor costs for replacing a specific speed sensor may be significantly higher on one vehicle model than the next. The typical cost to replace one of your vehicle's wheel speed sensors is between $150 and $300. In general, about a third of this cost will be related to the purchase of the sensor itself, and about two-thirds will be associated with the labor associated with making such a repair. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.